this after absolutely lots to do with this thing. Uh, great fun. It's good. Uh, definitely needs to upgrade the brakes. 100% really holding me back. So, uh, yeah, absolutely awesome. Definitely recommend getting one. But, yeah. So, right, we're deleting the spacers because we're getting. Oh! They're hot. Woo! Because they're getting uh, too much scrub. So, yeah, let's pop them wheels back on. Massive shout out to my man at Raw Cabbage Garage. Go give him a subscribe on his channel. Currently building a budget R53 track car, so big thanks to him for being my pit crew. This gentleman will come round, he'll check your helmets, he'll check your wristbands. Real friendly guy, gave me some great advice on tyre pressures, things like that. So, massive shout out to this gentleman on the day. And you probably see the other crew, they come along, they will now do a sound check on my little beast. So, we got to make sure we don't hit the noise limit so a few cars actually got kicked off on the day so please do be careful and make sure your car hits the sound decibel limit otherwise you will um, be booted off and you will not be run funded which would be a massive shame to you but yeah don't get caught out like the other guys So, for the first three laps, we had to do basically sighting laps. But annoyingly, we had to do this every single session. So that really took out the time we had on track, which is a, such a shame. But after the three laps, when your car's warmed up, you were good to go. now started to experience some sort of scraping noise so I've had to let off and head back to the pits. Right so we've lost our nuts unfortunately they've come loose the exhaust has fallen apart so me and Cal are under here trying to fix that and yeah kind of got lent some bolts by the neighbouring people. Cool we'll be back when this is fixed. Um, okay yeah so we're just getting the tyres on the lower pressure because I'm struggling for grip on the corners it's sliding out on the understeer uh, so I'm going to drop them down now well, them down to 22 um, so yeah so we'll get them hopefully a bit more less understeer on the corners we go again we go again so we missed one session not a problem um, but yeah we're getting back on track now uh, exhaust is all fixed, thanks to my man Cal. Uh, yeah, let's go. Yeah. I'll, I'll do want one of these to be fair. Do you recommend that? Yeah, they're not too bad actually. It's only like 85 quid, I think. Um, but yeah, definitely. Like you can adjust it to wherever you want, different functions. So, what have you got it teed into for the uh, intake temperatures? and? So, it, it just goes straight to your OBD port. Oh, really? Um, so, I've just 
wired it through, tied it up. Oh, okay. So you can probably see I've deleted the bottom half of my dashboard, yeah. both sides. So I've literally put my OBD. But to be fair, it was so long, it, it was all right. Oh, yeah. fair enough. performing absolutely amazing however the brakes just keep letting me down I keep getting brake fade which is so frustrating however there's definitely going to be the next modification on my list before we hit Brands Hatch and the Nurburgring Hi mate, how you doing? I'm good, it's all done, everything good? So nearly, nearly done oh, Nearly done, nearly done, done. Cool. Right, last session Lovely, thank you very much sir I'll try. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's been great fun, thank you. Yeah, you have a good day. Your... Yeah, mate, yeah, cool. cheers for everything you do, yeah. It's alright. Yeah, we're good. Awesome. All right. Thank you, mate, yeah, sorry, have fun. <laughs> cheers, mate. Thank you. Oh, he's so lovely, he's such a nice guy. Right, and we are ready for our last session of the day so you get six 15 minute sessions and I've missed one so we've only had five however I've really got the understanding of how this car handles and how it performs and I'm absolutely loving it I really recommend building one or if you've got one get on track absolutely amazing now I'm going to show you just a couple of laps of me uh, let's say battling with a Alfa Romeo um, really well matched in performance, really awesome and then I'm going to show you a load of minis doing some racing at the end of the day which was absolutely amazing to watch so stay tuned, watch these laps. Okay.
unfortunately I am now starting to lose my brakes. They are getting very spongy and going all the way to the floor and I've got zero braking power. So definitely a modification we need to rectify next time. That Alpha was really killing me on the straight but the Mini just stay planted on the corners and really allowed me to keep up with him. Now let's show you some real racing. Absolute wicked day there. Hope you guys enjoyed that. Thanks for watching. Click that subscribe.